Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Games. This is part 21 of Halo 3. And uh, this is the Covenant part 3. And this part of the level is called Journey's End. And uh, in the last one I said, oh, I'm going to add the uh, elevator music or the lift music, whatever. Because uh, I did that in part 1 of the Covenant. And I was intending to do it for part 2. But uh, I was busy that, like when I was editing. I, I quickly had to get the, the recording done because... Me and Paul were supposed to do some, uh, we were supposed to play some Xbox Live together. And he was calling me on Skype literally just as uh, it ended, so I was just like, well, I'm gonna hit render. And I opened it up today, like the same file, because obviously it's the same level, so it's all just one file. And realised, oh, I forgot to do that. But, um, yeah, I do apologise if you didn't realise. Hey, well, if you realised and noticed. Um, I also died there because the last episode I said this was a problem. This level. I'm used to just doing, I'm used to Halo 3 and Co-op and it, I just didn't do it obviously this time. This is the first time I've ever played Halo 3 in single player and this I can normally, in Co-op I can do this in about a minute. In like, because you just need someone to distract the scarab. But when you're doing it yourself, just like in the Hornet or the uh, the Ghost Warthog, it's it's a lot more difficult. And I also think when I do it, when I last did it on Corp, I did I was using the Scorpion tank, but I forgot it was this level that like where this this happens at the end. Because it has been a while since I played Halo 3, well, campaign. And this is like so close to us dying, like on some of these shots, but I, I do like flying the Hornet. Now there is one thing I'm going to say about this, uh, the a about this game, the AI doesn't know how to stay still. It's annoying. Also, I have no idea why I'm not using rockets. I think it would be better, like, when there's groups there. Instead of, well, I guess the... I guess the machine guns are okay, because they just, they don't need to reload. I don't know how that's, like, a thing, but apparently it is. Yeah, I really have nothing really to say about this, because, it, like I said, I didn't think it would take this long when I did it, but annoying problem here is I I have now lost that haunt. Well, I haven't. I don't. I just don't know where it is. Like, and I think it explodes because um, I don't get it back on it. Like, it could be on. It could just literally be up on the top there, but who knows? I can't see it anywhere. And like, it was being so close it was. Like, we almost died there. A from that explosion, and then B from the scarab gun there. And of course, you can't just run up to the scarab and try and take it out, with a, like, on you by yourself. But these, we're gonna enlist the help of these marines to help, uh, to help us. When the next come around. At the moment, if I remember, what I was trying to do was I was trying to back it into one corner so the AI could, like, fight it. But it's not really working very well. And I do have to say the end of this level, well, the end of this part, is going to be a cutscene. So I will shut up then when that happens. Uh, I was hoping that I could just, you know, bring the audio back down at the end of it and say things, but that didn't happen. Like, that's not going to happen. Due to the way that the, like, cutscene goes through a like into the fourth part so yeah but look we're gonna we're gonna use these like this warthog here and annoyingly like you notice I get on the ghost hog here and then the uh, the AI will start driving and I don't want that to happen I want to stay still I could have turned it down if you just didn't drive off AI it's so annoying I think they're just programmed to like if there's other Covenant, like, 
in the area to just flee, but I just like it's nowhere near the thing that I need to kill. That's what's so annoying. So I just like I made I made sure the guy got off it. Almost ran him over as well, but he deserved it. And look, there's my uh, hornet, but I wasn't paying attention, and I thought it was destroyed. It might be destroyed actually. I don't know. But, uh, and then, then we have the problem of it's not staying still. But my plan of making the uh, of getting the warthog to stay to stay and just fire at one uh, spot is has worked. Now we just have to get on, which is kind of a problem because that is in the way. And I was thinking, oh no, it's going to get back up. It's going to recover itself. Luckily it isn't, but we do have to walk all the way around, although, no we don't, we can just get on the warthog. I don't know how they, like, what fired at me there, but something did. And now we're on, so we're, we're completely okay now. Also, I like this tune, I think this is One Final Effort is the name of the, the, the uh, orchestral music in the background, could be wrong. Could be finished the fight. All the Halo 3 music sounds the same to me. But look, it's going to explode. I don't know why I did that voice, but I did. <laughs> Got a bunch of DVDs. I know you guys probably won't care if you're watching Halo, but I did a DVD update video before, so I'm going to do it again. I've got a uh, six well today. So, because there's no. Well, actually, I can't actually talk about them because I won't have enough time. Well, I can go through them quickly. I've come to America, the Eddie Murphy movie, The Deer Hunter starring Robert De Niro, The Devil Wears Prada with Mel Streep and Anne Hathaway, uh, A Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger, uh, Robin Hood, annoyingly the director's cut because there isn't a theatrical version on DVD in the UK, uh, with Russell Crowe, and then uh, watch it down the uh, animated movie that literally is one of the most violent kids movies ever made. Like, seriously, it is. If. Americans aren't don't really know about it much, but uh, for British people, if you say Watership Down, it's it's gonna bring back bad memories. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> right, well we got through them quickly. And uh, that's really it. Uh, there's going to be a cutscene. Well, no, there's going to be Cortana first, and then it segues into a cutscene. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Robin from the Instant Gamers, and Tara. It asked, and I answered. For a moment of safety, I loosed damnation on the stars. My faithful, stand firm. Though our enemies crowd around us, we tread the blessed path. In a moment, I will light the rings, and all who believe shall be saved. How close are you? Not close enough. <sighs> that the best you got? <sighs> oh, come on. Impress me. Stop! You imbecile! He wants you to kill him. I'd prefer... matter, big shot. Can't start your own party. I admit, I need your help. That secret dies with all the rest. Johnson, sound off. Get out of here! Not without you. You delay the inevitable. One of you will light the rings. You cannot hope to kill them all. You're right. Do it. Me and you. Now. No!
Your forefathers wisely set aside their compassion, steeled themselves for what needed to be done. I see now why they left you behind. Gods must be strong. Safely to our foe. Only you can halt what he has set in motion. <laughs> <laughs> 